it's Marie and it's time for another unboxing video. This morning I received the February Adult Unplugged box. As always, I can't remember anything about what's in it, so we're just gonna dive in and see what we've got, if I can get it open, which is proving to be a struggle. Okay. That was a that was a tough one. Really packed in this this month. There's some kind of fabric item. Ooh, it's very soft and silky. I don't really know what I'm looking at, <laughs> to be honest. Some kind of cloth. Okay, let me just show it to you. It's a packet of dishcloths, I, I want to say, hand towels or something, I'm not quite sure, um, it's some kind of map image and it says, the truth is never horrible, only interesting. Um, there's some text on the bottom that I can't read, so I don't actually know what city it is, or what, um, book this is for, if any. I'm going to assume it is part of, or oh, related to a book, but I don't know which one. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of these towel things. Um, and I suspect this is part of the new green initiative that Unplugged is doing this year. Um, where they're including more reusable items in their boxes and less plastic and that sort of thing, which is great. Um, I just, I don't know what these are, <laughs> is the problem. Uh, the other problem is um, I've just noticed that there's this card in the box. Um, so they're, they're doing a trial run of digital spoilers instead of putting in the pamphlets that they normally put in. Um, so they're... Uh, trying to reduce waste by putting all the spoilers on the website so you can go to the URL or uh, scan the QR code. Uh, the problem is that I film this on my phone <laughs> and my laptop is on the other side of the room so I don't actually know what any of these things are or what they relate to uh, while I'm unboxing them which is um, a little bit annoying <laughs> I'm not gonna lie um, I appreciate that they're trying to do um, uh, you know reduce paper and waste by putting in by not putting in the pamphlets but um, I would prefer a hard copy pamphlet I'm just saying um, maybe if they used like a a um, like a more environmentally friendly paper stock, something that's a bit more biodegradable than sort of like the um, quite treated uh, paper they were using before. I think that would be a better option than having to go to the website or scan a QR code. But I mean, that's just my preference, which I'm more than happy to share. So I will probably do that <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> just FYI. Um, but so just, just letting you know, I don't actually know what any of these things are going to be, um, or what any of the books will probably relate to. So, you know, fair warning. Okay, so I've had a look at the website, um, and I'm just popping in to say that these are, in fact, dish towels. They're supposed to be used in place of paper towels, which is great. But more importantly, the quote is from Agatha Christie's play, black coffee, which uh, is one that I'm actually not familiar with. I've read a decent amount of Agatha Christie in my time, um, and I've seen, you know, like, TV movie type uh, productions. But um, yeah, black coffee, not one I'm, uh, I'm familiar with, but that's what the book is for this item. Let's move on. There is a bottle of bubble elixir so this is from the fiction bath company who i love um 
This one is called Verity, which I know is a Colleen Hoover book. I don't like Colleen Hoover. Um, I think her writing's terrible. So, you know. Mmm. It's like a, um, a chocolatey smell. It's, uh, it is a chocolatey smell. It's in the scent Peppermint, Mocha, and Cream. That's why it smells so delicious. Three of my favourite things. Um, <laughs> so that's quite nice. Um, again, I don't take baths, so I don't use bubble bath, but I would very happily use this bubble bath if I did take baths. So maybe I will have to start doing so. Mm. It's a very pleasing smell. So we already know that this is a um, bubble elixir, but I was looking at the spoilers on the website and it turns out that it can actually also be used as a shower gel. Um, I don't know if that was included in all the spoiler sheets for boxes that have included the bubble elixir um, and I just didn't see it or if it's something that they've only recently added in this box. Um, but this is very exciting because this means I can actually use the bubble elixirs, which is great. So um, brace yourself. I'm going to soon be walking around smelling like a Christmas coffee. It's going to be great. What else have we got? There is a little jar of something. It's from Pure Earth Soap Works. It's called Peppermint Magic. Um... It's a beeswax type situation? What is it? Hmm, it smells peppermint-y. Anyway, it's a little jar of something. It just got a little wax-based item in it. I don't know if this is a lip balm or some kind of... I don't know. I have to assume it's a, a skin product of some kind. I'm going to assume a lip balm because it has beeswax, coconut oil, and peppermint oil in it, but I don't know. So we'll have to go on the website and find out. <laughs> I'm a bit salty about the lack of a pamphlet in case you can't tell. <laughs> it smells nice, whatever it is. I really like peppermint smells. So the fact that there's two peppermint scented items in this box is a great start. So this was the only item that I didn't really know what it was, but I've looked at the uh, spoilers on the website and it turns out it's a peppermint salve, which you can use, um, like you can rub it into sore muscles or you can um, rub a little bit on your temples to help with headaches. Um, I've used like uh, peppermint essential oils for a similar purpose in the past, so this is great and I am prone to suffering from headaches uh, when I do office work. So I'm going to put this in my bag and take it to the office with me. And uh, hopefully it'll help me out when I'm, you know, <sighs> slogging it at work. <laughs> um, also interesting to note is it's inspired by Practical Magic, which I did start watching once and wasn't really into, but I know it's popular with other people. So there you go. Peppermint self. Great to know. There are two boxes. I'm going to assume one is like a cafe item because I know they're doing a cafe series in the adult boxes this year. And the other one must be a candle. But I'm going to open this big white one first. Ooh! Oh, that's funny. Ooh! Oh, this is hilarious. For unknown reasons. Okay, so it's a glass. Um, it looks really pretty. It's, uh, I think it's based on Circe, the book by Madeline Miller. Um, and it says, I cannot bear this world a moment longer without coffee, which is relatable, I gotta say. Um, so it's sort of like a really cool, like, glass inside a glass situation, which I like. Um, I do like this. <laughs> I will use it. Funny thing is that I bought myself 
a very similar glass to this just a couple of days ago. Just not from Unplugged, just unrelated. Um, it's about the same size, it's like the same shape. <laughs> and I bought it to put iced coffee in um, when I drink it at home. So now I've got basically another one, which is funny, but um, that's fine. I will probably use one as a water glass now because I like the bigger size. So yeah, very nice, great to have this. This is probably a candle. It is a candle. Ooh, the jar is purple. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, so in case this is your first video, Unplugged have been doing a series of candles based on the seven deadly sins. Um, and this is the newest one. I can't figure out, oh, you know what it is? Pride. You know how I can tell? Because it's based on Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> um, so it's got Pemberley on it, which is the estate that Mr. Darcy lives in, in Derbyshire. Uh, and it's a Pride and Prejudice candle, and it's this gorgeous shade of purple, which is my favourite colour. Um, and the top has an engraving on it. It says, the distance is nothing when one has a motive. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's very cute. I like this candle a lot. Does it have a smell? Ooh! Yes. This is my favourite one so far. <laughs> the um, Deadly Sins candles have been quite faintly scented. And this one... Oh, it smells so good. I don't actually know what the smell is. It's some kind of floral smell, but I don't know exactly what. It's sort of ringing some kind of bell in the back of my brain, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Um, I'll have to go on the website and check because I really don't want to know what it smells like. Oh, I love this. I haven't been burning the Deadly Sins candles because I like my candles to have a stronger smell when they're burning, but this one I might burn, if I can bring myself to burn it because it's so pretty. But I can keep the jar, so I might burn it anyway and just leave the jar on my shelf. Oh, I love this. This is my favourite one in the series so far. I love that. And now the book. So normally there would be like an author card um, in the box. I don't know if mine just didn't get one or if they're doing away with those as well in order to reduce paper um, or cardstock. Um, I don't know, but I've got the book, which is Her Buried Lives by Caitlin L. Duncan. Never heard of this book, never heard of this author. Um, the tagline is, some family secrets should stay hidden. So as with all the unplugged exclusives, this one has sprayed edges, sort of like a paint splatter pattern. Ooh, and fancy end pieces. Oh my, oh. Oh wow. Okay, that's a lot. Um, so the interior of the dust jacket has these sort of pencil illustrations of these two little girls who are crying, which, like, it, it looks nice, but it is a bit, um, full on. <laughs> uh, if uh, seeing children in distress bothers you. The naked hardcover also has these uh, foiled images, some kind of figure with a shovel, probably for burying all her secrets with, I'm going to assume. So the blurb. For as long as she can remember, Jenny Miller has experienced intense, intrusive visions. Plagued by graphic mental images of death and harm, 
Jenny is constantly on edge, always fighting to stay on this plane of reality, until she gets one chance to learn if anyone else in her family suffered the same way. When Jenny and her mother travel to a rural town to sell their legacy home, evidence of the past surrounds them and forces concealed secrets to the surface. But the more Jenny digs, the more she entrenches herself in a sordid past. Soon after finding a hidden journal filled with disturbing messages, a local goes missing and the suspicions of the town's sheriff turn towards Jenny and her mother. To prove their innocence, Jenny needs to come face to face with a killer who is more like her than she ever wanted. With the, t with the clock ticking, can Jenny withstand her visions long enough to uncover the truth and save herself? Um, and there's also a content warning that the novel explores aspects of psychology and mental health and contains depictions of kidnapping, homicide and female fertility. Which uh, sort of gives me an indication of where this book might be going. Um, so it sounds like a thriller um, and like a family saga type situation. Not the kind of book I normally reach for, to be honest, um, or am ever interested in. But uh, I'll try anything once. So I will definitely give it a go. I don't think I'm going to like this one, to be honest. But, you know, that's the, that's the way it goes. Title page has a signature on it. Um, yeah, there is no um, author letter in the book. I thought um, if it wasn't in the box, they might have printed one to slot into the book as a substitute for having the printed card, um, but that doesn't look like this is the case. So again, I don't know if maybe a card just didn't get put into my box in particular, or um, if they're not doing them anymore, which is also a shame, I think. Um, I know in the past I've really enjoyed getting to read the author's thoughts about the book that's in the box, um, and what their intentions were for writing it. Um, I think it adds an extra interesting perspective and tells you a bit more about what the book is trying to say. Um, so it's a shame not to have that, but um, you know, that's the way it's going apparently. So um, yeah, I, it's, a, yeah, I, it's not really my thing, <laughs> this book, um, but like I said, I will try it. Um, I might have some friends who would em who would enjoy it more, um, who might want to take it on at some point in the future, but until then, I have it, and I will definitely give it a go, or I can't say when. Um, and, uh, and that's it. That's the box. I, uh, my feelings about this box are coloured by the fact that there was no pamphlet. <laughs> I can't get over the disappointment, um, but you know, that's fine. Uh, I don't think my my single preference is going to make a difference if they um, if if they're looking for opinions on whether or not to uh, put the pamphlets back in. But I will I will happily let them know of my opinion. Until then. I will enjoy my candle, my Pemberley candle, and whatever this little tub of peppermint stuff is, I don't know. I'm gonna say a lip balm again, but we'll see. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. I hope you're having a great day, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye!